Hello, three days long weekend is around and I am still thinking what to do for the weekend, where can I go, which would be the best place. Not sure yet, so it's worth to travel somewhere and explore something new and take some new experiences. Okay, let's ask Jeannie. I heard we are going on a trip and here I am all set. Where are we going? You want my suggestion? Okay, so I'll give you a clue. You guess the place. Do you know a place which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site where over 1600 fascinating ruins offer glimpse of a glorious past? Where the musical pillars play heavenly tunes? Where stone chariot stands as a testament to the architectural brilliance and which is on our 50 rupees note too? which was mystical capital of a powerful empire filled with unique monuments and temples where a mystical river flows creating a heavenly place where a vibrant cultural festival celebrates the heritage and traditions of this place a unique coracle ride experience and some adventures like cliff jumping too yes you are on the right track we are going there and it will be Three nights, two days trip. Let's not waste our time. We will run and catch our bus so that tomorrow early morning we will be at that place. Pack the bag and let's explore. So while packing your bags, don't forget to keep umbrella, shades, cap, swimming costume and other essentials. Yes, I'm super excited. So let's go there. I'll go and pack my bags. Let's start our journey now. I will give you some history, geography and unique and fascinating facts about the place which you don't want to miss. Learn while you travel. Let's go. Good morning. It is 4 am in the morning and we have reached at our destination. I am little nervous as it is very early and unknown place. The bus dropped us almost one and half hour before the estimated arrival time and here I am at the bus station and at the place. This tour is arranged by a group and hence they have backups for such events and I got my pre-booked auto right away. Oh yes, you guessed it right, we are at Hampi in Namma, Karnataka. I'll show you the cultural heritage, the land of ancient marvels and timeless tales. So let's begin the adventure. On day one, I will be exploring Hampi Island and places around it. First, I'm going to check in in an amazing hotel on Hampi Island. Till the time we will reach there, I will tell you about how to reach Hampi. Hampi is well connected and different modes of transportation are available depending upon your starting location and preferences. Here are some common ways to reach Hampi. By air. The nearest airport to Hampi is the Hubli airport located about 144 kilometers away. From the airport you can hire a taxi or use public transportation to reach Hampi. Another option is Jindal Vijayanagar airport in Bellari which is around 64 kilometers away from Hampi. By train, if you want to reach, then Hospet Junction is the nearest railway station to Hampi, located just a few kilometers away. By bus, Hampi has good road connectivity. KSRTC and private bus operators run buses to Hampi. The journey by bus is a cost-effective option and allows you to enjoy the scenic landscapes of the region. By car, if you prefer a more personalized and convenient journey, you can hire a taxi or drive to Hampi. The roads leading to Hampi are well maintained and the drive can be an enjoyable experience, especially if you like road trips. By bike, for motorcycle enthusiasts, riding to Hampi can be a thrilling and adventurous experience. You can ride through scenic routes to reach Hampi. Quickly, I'll tell you the distance from Bangalore, Mumbai and Pune to Hampi. The distance from Bangalore to Hampi is around 370 kilometers by road and it takes around 6 to 7 hours to drive. 
from Mumbai it is around 750 kilometers and travel time is approximately 12 to 14 hours. From Pune, Hampi is around 430 kilometers and travel time is approximately 9 hours. OMG, can you see the giant boulders creating a heavenly place and of course the mystical river Tungabhadra. Can you remember here something, our geography lessons about the river? If not, let me refresh your memory a little. This river originates in the western ghats and it has two main tributaries, the Tunga river and Bhadra river. The Tunga river originates in the Chikmangalur district and Bhadra river originates in the Shimoga district of Karnataka. The two rivers meet near Kudli in the Shimoga district to form the Tunga Bhadra river. The Tunga Bhadra river flows through the districts of Shimoga, Chikmangalur, Davangiri and Raveri in Karnataka and the districts of Anantapur and Karnul in Andhra Pradesh. The river has a total length of 531 km and a catchment area of 28,000 square km. The river later flows into the river Krishna and is an important source of water for irrigation, drinking and industrial purposes. The origin and importance of Tungabhadra river is called out in mythology too. According to Hindu mythology, the river was created by Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe. In Ramayana, this river is mentioned as Pampa river. In the 14th and 17th century, this river was known as the Varada river and was an important source of water for the Vijayanagara empire and the city of Hampi, which was their capital. The river has several dams and reservoirs built on it, including the Tunga Anikat Dam, Bhadra Dam, Hemwati Dam and Tungabhadra Dam. Activities like coracle rides and cliff jumping are famous here which we will be doing later today. Oh, seems I was carried away too much with the information and here we are at the hotel named as Whispering Rocks. As you can see, this place looks good and gives a very good vibe and a feel of jungle stay. This is located in the heart of Anegudi village and you can particularly say it's on Hippie Island. I prefer this place as day one activities like coracle ride, cliff jumping and sunset at Matanga Hill are easily accessible. Herein the staff can help you to get the bikes on rent or auto to explore nearby places. Bike is preferred mode of transportation on Hippie Island and nearby areas. If you want to go to temple side, then auto or cycles are allowed that side. I have particularly liked the location, nature surrounding the place and the ambience of the restaurant. More information about the place, I will give in description. So I got my bike on rent and I started for the next unique experience that is Korakal ride in Tungabhadra river, which is approximately 15 minutes away from the stay place. I would recommend to wear comfortable costumes here and if you are a swimmer like me then the water is so tempting for swimming that you will not be able to resist it. So this is coracle ride and these are traditional circular shaped boats made of bamboo frames and covered with a waterproof material such as tar coated canvas or plastic. They have been used for centuries in the region for fishing and transportation along the river. No need to get afraid if you don't know swimming as these are operated by skilled local boatmen who have been navigating these waters for generations. They possess a deep understanding of the river currents. This is definitely a unique and a memorable experience.
And now I am headed for cliff jumping. If you love adventure, this is the place for you. We walked a little to reach to the cliff jumping point and here wearing safety jacket is must. The water is very much safe for the activity and I recommend to do it when local guides are available. My recommendation for swimmers is they should not miss this activity. I had mixed feeling as I am little scared of heights but not water. And if you are a non-swimmer, you can do it under observation. All in all, till the time everything was so special, unique and just awesome. You can see how I enjoyed the swimming in chloride-free water, a fresh water. Now it's lunch time and we headed back to the hotel for lunch. They offer good veg and non-veg menu. And if you are a pet lover, then you have more treats here. Like you can see. It is almost 4 pm and now time to head to very famous sunset point here called as Matanga Hill Sunset Point. Recommended to start climbing around 4 pm as it is a small trek to reach to the top of the hill. Remember to carry some water and wear comfortable footwear as the climb to the top of Matanga Hill might take some efforts. It's best to arrive a little early to secure a good spot to witness the mesmerizing sunset at one of the most iconic locations in Hampi. Sunset at Matanga Hill in Hampi is a truly magical experience. Matanga Hill is one of the best vantage points in the area to witness the breathtaking sunset over the ancient ruins and the Tungabhadra river. Here is what you can expect during a sunset visit to Matanga Hill. Panoramic view. As you climb up Matanga Hill, you will be rewarded with panoramic views of the entire Hampi landscape. Besides the stunning visual aspect, you will also be treated with sounds of nature. For those seeking a spiritual connection, the serene ambience of the sunset at 
This seal offers a perfect setting for meditation and contemplation. So let us end our today here with all these best memories and start a fresh tomorrow early morning as we will be exploring the best of the hampi with historical significance also tomorrow we will discuss about best time to visit and other remaining essentials so see you tomorrow and good night and i will enjoy my sunset bye until next time